Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today, my last video of 2020, to talk about one of the biggest things people want to know. How much do authors actually get paid? So do authors just get a lump sum of money straight away when they create their book? Do authors all get paid the exact same across different publishing houses? And is it possible to be a full-time author? Welcome back to my channel and I hope you enjoy this video. So what I'm going to talk about today is advances and royalties. You might already have a bit of an idea about what these are, but I'm going to be talking to you about the outline of what they actually are. So most traditional publishing houses will give the author an advance against royalties. This is an advance, like it says, to the author um, amount of money that they basically get based on what they think the book will earn in future. Advances are usually paid in instalments and traditionally this is in three parts. They're always at certain points in the book development. So this, and particularly at Bloomsbury, it's on the, on the contract signing, um, so when the author actually signs the contract with the publishing house and gives the rights to publish their material. Then it's when the manuscript is actually delivered. And then finally it's on the book publication date. So for an author that's been working with a publisher for a couple of years, they might not actually get their third instalment of their advance until the book is actually published, and that could be two years afterwards. So an advance against royalties. So what this basically means is for every pound that you receive as an advance, you have to earn this back in book sales through your royalty rate before you earn any extra money. So therefore you won't receive a penny extra um, on top of your advance until your advance earns out from royalties. It's essentially a gamble from the publisher's point of view because if the author does really well and the book sells really well, that's great for both of them. Um, but if it doesn't do well, then the author will still get their advance. That doesn't get taken away from them at all. They'll still earn that advance. They just won't necessarily earn any, any they won't necessarily earn anything extra on top of that through future royalties. Um, so yes, yeah, so it could do really well, it could do really badly. Um, so yeah, the author gets paid the advance regardless of whether the publisher makes back their money or not. A lot of authors have agents, and if you do have an agent, their income will depend on how much the agent takes from this. So if you have an agent, the agent will get a sum of the money before sending the rest on to the author. If you don't have an agent, however, you obviously, as the author, get the full amount. Agents essentially ensure that you get the best possible deal from the publisher. So ideally, the royalty rates will change over time depending on how many sales you make. So for example, for the first 10,000 books that you might sell, you'll make X percentage. And then after that, it's for every you know, 10,000 books after that, you'll make an even higher percentage. Um, this is all done right in the beginning stages when the author signs the contract with the publisher, depending on um, how well they anticipate this book to do in future. So royalty rates, what are the actual rates? How much do authors actually get paid? So obviously they have advances and this completely depends on the name of the author, if they've already had a lot of books out already and they're known to do really well, or if they're a new author. Um, lots of different things can affect the different advances and royalty rates, but there is kind of like a typical and a standard royalty rate. Obviously this does depend in publishing houses, this does depend on the author, on the book, etc. Um, but typically around 10% is the average for a hardback for a printed book. This can, as I said, obviously change and then say that's for the first 10,000 books. After that it might go up to 12.5% and the next 10,000 books after that and then up again to say 15% after the next 10,000 books are sold. So obviously from an author's point of view you want to sell as many books as possible because your royalty rate will eventually increase. Paperbacks are usually a smaller percentage as opposed to ebooks. They are usually a higher percentage royalty rate for the author because if you think about it, ebooks are mainly all digital and you don't have to pay for any production costs such as the printing and the delivering of the actual physical hard copies of the book. So, yeah, so therefore the authors will get a higher royalty percentage rate for ebooks. And then this can usually, again, this usually depends, but this is typically around 25%. Reserves are payments of copies held back by the publisher to compensate for any like potential returned books, so this is basically to cover themselves. And then royalties are usually paid every six months. Now if you self-publish, it's obviously completely different where you don't have a publishing house involved and therefore your royalty rate will be significantly higher. Now I have spoken about this book before and this is The Publishing Business published by Bloomsbury, so a guide to starting out and getting on. On page 92, there's a quote from an author here um, who self-published, and she says, Self-publishing gives me an outlet for projects that are outside the mainstream and a more regular, though smaller, source of revenue, as my self-published titles earn monthly royalties, whereas traditional publishers only pay twice a year. So yeah, there you have it. Royalties are usually paid every six months to the author. 
So does this therefore mean you can be a full-time author? Well, obviously you can. There's plenty of examples out there where people, you know, that is their full-time job. They are an author, but don't be surprised if it is just a side hustle for a lot of people. Obviously it takes such a significant amount of their time and their hard work in creating this material, but essentially they won't get the full amount of money because publishers will have to take some of the money for the work they do for things like printing the actual books and marketing, etc. Um, now, a short while ago, there was a hashtag that was trending called Publishing Paid Me, and it was essentially to highlight some of the differences in the industry on how much authors get paid um, in regards to their advances and royalty rates. Um, so I have a couple of examples. Um, so Matt Haig, who I've read a couple of his books, which are fantastic, um, he revealed that he earned five grand for his first book and then 600 grand for his 10th book. Um, and that just goes to show that obviously if you're a well-established author, your advance will significantly increase because they, the publishers kind of know and anticipate that that book is going to do well. But as I said previously, Matt Haig won't then get the £600,000 upfront. It will be an advance against royalties and so this is usually paid in three separate instalments. And then Mallory Blackman, who um, one of her books is on my list for 2021, um, commenting on the hashtag publishing paid me, she said, my latest contracts contain NDA clauses, non-disclosure agreements clauses, so I can't say what I earn, but it is nowhere near what some white authors are getting for their nth book, where N is a single digit. I make a living, but I've had to learn to cut my cloth to fit my income. And that kind of shows firsthand that obviously author payments do vary across different authors and here as we're saying compared to white people compared to black people and obviously this is something that does need to change within the industry so if you have any thoughts on that please do let me know and then amy schumer who is a famous actress um her book the girl with the lower back tattoo she was given an advance of nine million dollars so a couple of the key differences between advances and royalties even though they're kind of closely linked in together because they are advances against your future royalties um, advances are a set sum of money, so that will be, say, £100,000, whereas royalties are um, measured as a percentage, so this will be, say, 10% for your hardback, 8% for your paperback, and 25% for your ebook. And then the key thing about advances versus royalties is, is how conditional they are. So advances, the author is guaranteed that money, whether or not their book does really well or not. That is a set sum of money that they are definitely going to get, providing they meet the standards if it's in their contract. So, you know, delivering their manuscript on time, for example. So even if the publisher does not sell enough of their book, they don't have to pay back any of the money that they didn't earn back or anything like that. They will still get that money. So from an author's point of view, that's, you know, you're guaranteed that income compare this to royalties and these are conditional so you only earn your royalty rates after you've earned out your advance and then you sell more books so say you've completely earned out your advance and now you're starting to get 10 percent of every sale that's made on your hardback book you will only do that if people actually buy your book you know you're not absolutely determined that if no one buys your book you won't get any extra money through your royalties you have to actually sell books to make the money so I think it can be really confusing with advances and royalties and I know um, when I first started my publishing journey I was a little bit confused about how it worked and how authors actually do get paid. But I hope this cleared up some of the basics for you and if you do have any specific questions on advances or royalties on how much authors actually get paid then please do let me know. As I said this completely differs across different publishing houses, different authors etc and even within divisions so if you have an academic division the royalty rates might completely differ there especially if there's multiple con contributors to one book. I think even if you don't necessarily want to go into the finance side of publishing it's really important that you do have a basic understanding of um, author's income and how royalty rates work and basically the key concept of that an advance is against your future royalty so you have to earn back that before you start making any extra money on top of that advance. I've also got some examples for you that I found some contracts whether that be through Bloomsbury or ones I found online which um, I can give you the details for in the description below. Hopefully I'm putting some of these on the screen now. So what these show are just basic examples of contracts. It shows when the manuscript has to be delivered. It shows when the advances will be paid and the key instalment date. So for example, when the book is actually published will be the final advance payment date. And then you have specific examples here of how much a particular author might receive. There are certain contracts out there and certain publishers will have a, um, a template contract for you to browse. Um, so although this doesn't apply to any particular book and doesn't have any specific values in there, it's still there for you to look at and it's quite handy just to see how that would work in their contract. 
I think one of the best things that I did is read through an entire contract for one of our books. For me, law and rights and contracts was not my first thought when I thought of publishing and it, and it didn't particularly interest me but yeah it's one of the best things that I did is reading for a contract because you really get to understand the author's involvement and how the rights work and how obviously the royalties and advances work. So I would also recommend that you check out the hashtag publishing paid me um, there's some news articles on it as well like I think The Guardian is one of the ones that I looked at um, I'll put a couple of links in the description below because this is really interesting and gives you a bit more of an insight like real life examples of how much authors actually got paid. Um, obviously things are ever changing and if you have any particular stories please do let me know because obviously it'll be great to hear that. But for now I hope that cleared some things up for you and you found it a little bit useful. Do let me know if you did find it useful and this is most likely going to be my last video of 2020 so thank you so much for the support already. Um, I've really really enjoyed doing these videos and I've got some exciting things coming for the next year. This includes interviews with professionals, which hopefully you've seen some snippets of on my Twitter. So yeah, thank you so much for the support in 2020 and see you in the new year. Bye-bye.